I feel like I'm losing my mind. Did the stream crash? I could have sworn that I pressed start stream and I had this whole thing. And I was like, all right, let's get started. And then I was like playing the game fully for like three whole minutes. And I'm like, dang, it's like extra quiet in the chat. That's okay. That's just the vibe for tonight. And then I look and I'm, I'm not streaming. I... I'm a fool. How much should I repeat of what I said? I mean, I didn't say much. I was mostly just excited that Snuggly followed me on the day I decided to play Nancy Drew. Um, maybe that's just what distracted me from starting the starting stream button. Ugh, I'm such a fool. I could have sworn that I did, though. I'm losing my mind sometimes. Also, the bitrate is crazy. I'm scared. I feel like things are breaking down back here, but we're just going to carry onwards and hopefully everything will be just fine. <laughs> that does not bode well. Also, what is happening here? Okay. I'm just going to I'm just going to shut my mouth and enjoy the ride, you know? I'm not scared. <laughs> that is so me though. Hey. Eh. The secret of the old classic me not starting my stream or senior detective just hanging out all by my lonesome or need some help, speaking into the void okay the year 1930 well since i already saw this i'll pretend i'm seeing it for the first time drew behind the wheel of her blue roadster pondering this question why did Emily Crandall, a girl whom Nancy knows only through their mutual friend Helen Corning, ask Hi, Nancy Sunny's to drive all the way out to the Lilac Inn to see her? Does it have something to do with the fact that Emily's mother died barely a month earlier, leaving Emily to run the restaurant with only her guardian to help her? And more important, why, when she called, did Emily sound so desperate? Oof. The spunky teenager turns <laughs> off the main road, blissfully unaware that Emily isn't all that awaits her at the end of the driveway. No, Nancy Drew is about to get her first taste of the mystery, intrigue, and adventure that are to become her destiny. Destiny. Got like 10 pixels on the screen right now. This is the first time I'm saying this. I've never seen this game before. <laughs> All right. Take two. Oh, hello, Come on, Jane. My bloomers, you're Nancy Drew. Emily um, I did remember your name. It's... I'm Jane Willoughby. I'm Emily's guardian, but only for the next three months until she turns 18. Then she's on her own. Mmm, it smells like someone's <laughs> been baking pies. Pies are the lilac in specialty. We get like orders from all over. Oh, that reminds me... Rabbit from me Alice in Wonderland. Called. You're supposed to call him. You can use the coin phone on the porch. Emily didn't say anything about you coming until just this morning. She didn't? Don't get me We're going to start some she drama down here. here she wants. It's just that she's gotten so darn forgetful lately. Is she all right? Well, now that's hard to say. She misses her mom, that's for sure. So do I. Gloria and me, we were best friends, you know? The two of us ran this swell little dress shop over in Capital City. But then she got hitched and I didn't. And the next thing I know, she's writing me saying it would sure take a load off her mind if I could take care of her little girl should something ever happen to her. Hi, Blue Star. What's up? Emily's father... Died in the war. Cantigny, I think. Anyway, I couldn't say no. I mean, what are best friends for? I just wish I knew how to help Emily. I really want to play the Detective Barbie games, too. I have a feeling those will be also impossible to run, but I'll try it. Help her do what? What do you exactly do you do so successfully? Look, go talk to her. She probably just needs to spend some time with a bear cat like you instead of some dumb Dora like me. You go said it. She's in her room. Just make like a Boy Scout and be prepared. All right. No, I don't remember this music. It doesn't really feel like it fit the vibe of the game, but yeah, sure. All right, let's see them toes. That's yes. really why I wanted to play this game. Welcome to the Lilac Inn. Oh, and before I forget, thank you for the Oh yeah, Jinx Monsoon. Jinx Monsoon down at the front. <laughs> it meant a lot to me. When Helen told me I felt so bad for you, I had to do something. We're only putting out you toxic and energy today. Friends or anything, but you're still one of the nicest people I know. You obviously need to get out more. That's why I'm hoping you'll do me a favor, a big favor. 
you and your dad? Um, only if you Venmo request me. Nancy's kind of Nancy's a trust fund baby. Shh. What's wrong? I'm so loud. I thought I heard something. Your father <laughs> has a safe, right? Um, As we're comfortable. Lots of people have safes. Seems we're not rich or anything. I'd like you to take it home with you and put it in your father's safe. It's beautiful. It was my mother's. The few times I saw her wear it, she looked just like a movie star. I Hi, Laffy Taffy. In my room, but all things considered, I'd feel a lot better if you would just take it home and have your father lock it up in his safe. Oh, Nancy delivers the one-liners, don't you worry. What do you mean, all things considered? Hmm? Strange things have been going on around here. That's all I can say. I know it sounds loony, and Jane probably told you that I've been acting loony. What? Please do this for me. <laughs> what was that? Second plane is hit. The Emily, come downstairs, quick! The kitchen's on fire! Come on, we better get out of here! Oh. <laughs> we got the single frame of her standing up. Nancy Drew knows how to start off with a bang. Just horrible. Just horrible. <laughs> the no, the please tell me you saved the pies. And there's smoke damage everywhere. The inn will have to shut down for months, maybe even for good. <laughs> the game can't even handle all of the like three animations that are happening on screen. Um, will insurance cover the damage? I asked the fire chief the same thing. He said there could be a problem. What kind of problem? It looked to him like one of the burners on the stove had been left on. The flame either went out the goose or got to the stove. Ready, anyway, something <laughs> a spark and boom. He said this is why I have child safety locks on my stove. <laughs> things look hinky, and that's when times are good. Hinky? Who was in the kitchen this morning? Emily was the last person to use the stove. Like I said, She's been real forgetful lately. I think she's pretty upset, but it's not her fault. What with her mom passing away barely a month ago, and me showing up, this total stranger who doesn't know the first thing about kids or running a restaurant, and her trying she to- She only knows red wig and herself. pronouns and lie. It's just too much, that's all. Who wouldn't go a little off their nut? <sighs> I better get that. The line to the regular phone got burned up in the fire. So now the only phone we got is the coin phone on the porch. Excuse me. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Oof, we're running. Here we go. My mother's jewelry! It's gone! Oh, that's... Someone must have stolen it while we were the all... The sound is not the most consistent something like this level. Was going to happen. I just knew it! <laughs> you manifested it, babe. I don't know what to tell you. Jane, Jane said that you were the, you were the last. I forgot it not to read this out. Stove. Is that true? I did not leave the stove on. That fire was not my fault. Oh, what am I going to do? Without that jewelry, I don't have a prayer of paying for a new stove. And without a stove, I'll have to sell the inn. And if I lose the inn, I wish Mom were still here. I wish Where's Josiah my Crowley had dad? left us the money like he always said he was going I'm to. That's what I wish. Alone. Who's Josiah Crowley? He was this old man that lived next door. He died last year. He spent most of his time here at the inn, and he led my mom and me to believe that he'd left a lot of money for us in his will. He gave us a clock, and afterwards, he'd always point to it and get this little twinkle in his eye and say, Time will tell. But when they finally found his will, he didn't leave us a penny. Ooh, kitty lover, show and tell. Okay, we'll we'll take a break at 8 o'clock and we'll, we'll do show and tell then. Okay. Maybe he... Maybe he didn't leave you anything because he, he didn't, didn't have anything. anything. Because he didn't have anything. Oh, Hi, he house bandage. Like it, but he was rich. His estate was worth almost a quarter of a million dollars. Everything went to Richard Topham. He's this man who claims to be able to help people develop their paranormal powers. Um. Why do you suppose Josiah I want to know the drama. left everything to him? Josiah was kind of a screwball. <laughs> One time, he showed up at my birthday party dressed as my great-aunt Harriet. I didn't know it was really him until two days later. Anyway, he had all these weird hobbies, and he always thought it would be really keen to read minds. Josiah invited Richard Topham to move in so Topham could help him develop his paranormal powers right there in his house. Josiah was a sweet old man, and I do miss him. 
and he was free to give his money to whomever he wanted. But to get our hopes up like that, and then leave Typical us liberal, us. just waiting for a handout. <laughs> hmm. Where is Richard? Where is Richard Topham now? He still Where's that Richard? Josiah's house, which is right down the path out back. His house and the inn were built at the same time by two brothers during the Civil War. On which side? On which side, Emily? You're Emily, right? Or are you Jane? I forget. Was your mother's jewelry insured? She's not going to answer the question. I forgot about that. I don't know. Jim Archer. I bet he'd know. He's our banker. I guess I should go talk to him. Not one of your favorite people, huh? Oh, no. Mr. Archer's very nice. I mean, for a stuffy old banker. I'm just so bad at business things. And Jane, my guardian, she tries hard, but she's no good at it either. Maybe you could go talk to him. Please? It would be such a big help. Don't, don't be too enthusiastic. I guess. He runs the Main Street Bank. You can't miss it. I'll call him and tell him you're coming. Richard Topham would be like a great drag king name, would it not? <laughs> How many people knew you kept your mother's jewelry in here? No one. Well, Jane, my guardian, she knew, but I didn't tell anyone mm -hmm. else. The mystery is certainly mystering right now. A little bit. Don't forget to call your father. You don't forget to call your fa Oh, wait. Sorry. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. Okay. Why is it silent? Why is there no music playing? Gloria, read this. Read this and pretty soon... Read this and pretty soon this fellow will be your fa Read this. Okay. I couldn't tell if it was present or past tense. Your pal, Josiah. Ugh. This font. Okay, there, there's the music. Does this say myself? Myself when young did eagerly frequent doctor and saint. Oh my, I can't. I need to be able to breathe. I'm gonna go call my dad. Drop a nickel into the slot, please. There we go. Now, how may I be of service? I'd like to talk We're to definitely not calling Drew. Bess. His number is KL57187. Hang on a minute. I think I would like Ned more if he was a himbo. okay. I feel like Ned... I feel like Ned, Ned is always a bummer in these games. He's just kind of dragging it down. I'd much rather have um, the Hardy Boys, you know. Car ran, ran like, like a top. top. It ought to. That's a fine car. You treat it well, it'll treat you well. Just like I my was told that you wanted me to call. 2009 I Prius. Get some documents from a colleague over there. I thought since you were in the area, you could pick them up, save him paying postage. Sure. What's the address? He said he'd just leave them for you at the telegraph office. Just drive into town and look for Tubby Telegrams. He said you can't miss it. Will do. These papers are extremely important, Nancy. I will pick them up, Dad. Good. Remember, watch your gas gauge and get... Uh, uh, run cars. Out. Try to avoid potholes. The more you hit, the likely it is you'll wind up with a flat. Yes, Dad. Aren't we in a walkable city? Flat, take it off and put on your spare. And Ugh. straight to a gas Ugh. station and get it fixed. Yes, Dad. All right, lecture over. Nightmare. Have you found out why Miss Crandall asked you to visit? I'd rather not go into it right now. <laughs> All right. Give him nothing. I know, I know. Pick up those documents. That's my girl. Goodbye, Dad. Bye. Mmm. Mmm. I preemptively <laughs> reacted because I remembered the sweet, sweet pies. Ooh. Yeah, the game does not like when I pick things up. <laughs> That'll be fun. That'll be fun to deal with. Alright. Ugh. There we go. I wonder how mini golf is gonna work with my cursor doing that. That'll be a fun little surprise for later. Huh. Huh. Looks like someone <laughs> recently had a key appraised. Nice. Okay, good for them. 
Did I accidentally turn around? No, I'm good. I'm good. Over here, Miss Drew. Find the toy mouse and give it to Yuri. Would you please? Otherwise, he'll just. Y'all aren't ready for this cat. Hates strangers. Y'all are not ready for this little cat. Oh God. Got it. Right. <laughs> I can see it from over here. Oh, it just gets just gets worse the closer you get. What does this cat want? <laughs> oh, do you ever feel like this cat drifting through the wind? Wanting to start again. Okay, are you satisfied? Little beast. That that cat has killed some people. How nice of you to drop by. And thank you for walking. Happy Coldberg as the Cheshire life. cat. I'm expecting a pupil. I'd hate for her to have to park on the road. Mr. Topham? Richard Topham at your service. Did someone tell you I was coming? If one is to teach others how to develop and use their paranormal gifts, it's only it's logical only logical to possess such gifts oneself. I hope I'm not disturbing you. I was in the process of trying to make these spoons move by using nothing but my own. <laughs> Why he kind of the man or the cat? Through a magnifying glass until it was a minute yet searing point of light, Miss Drew. Uh, yeah, I guess. You see, that's what I do with my cerebral emanations, my thoughts. I focus them until they're a beam of pure energy which ultimately disrupts and transforms the molecular force field surrounding the target. This guy has a drop shipping business like you would not believe. And you can actually make objects move? Yes. Well, on occasion. As I tell my students, increasing one's rate of success is simply a matter of practice. Mm-hmm. Does everyone have paranormal powers? To some degree, yes. The goal of the Topham School for the Study and Development of Paranormal Powers is to enable students to make the most of whatever gifts they have. I take them through exercises designed to help them increase their output of phantasmic energy. If you want to sign up for an introductory session, I believe I have an opening today. What I'd really like to do is talk about Josiah Crowley. Oh. I'm afraid I'm busy, young lady. Far Ugh. too busy to engage in idle conversation. When would be a good time for me to come back? I'll be blunt, Miss Drew. I've discovered that the more time I spend with the, uh, shall we say, intellectually unendowed, the more my cerebral pulsations seem to diminish. I mean, I played this game I when I was a kid. Further, unless and until you prove that you are worthy. That is, that your brainwaves are not unacceptably inferior and thus deleterious to mine. I mean, did I beat this game as a kid? No, absolutely not. I definitely got bored halfway through. But I feel like most people who play these games, we were like 10. I probably played this game when I was like 8. This one's one of the easier ones. So probably more kids played this one than the other ones. My brainwaves are just fine, Mr. Topham. What I have here is an exercise in logic. If you can discern the correct solution, then I'll know that conversing with you will do me no psychic harm. Modern day Nancy is at home in the 1930s, I promise you. Good luck and good day. All right, I can do these. I remember these. Wet all over. Right. Oh, okay. I have to click on the next one. Doll up. Am I smart or what? So smart. Double cross. I'm getting there. Oh, that's that, that's right. Okay. It's the same one twice. They can only think of so many puzzles. Big cheese. Am I smart or what? Yeah. I can do that as a kid. Am I to assume that you have the correct solution to that logic problem? Right here. Let's have a look. Hmm. <laughs> Why, you appear to have indeed found the solution. Well, since you've proved yourself to be intellectually above average... Yeah, Nancy is 50 years old um, in any time period. It's actually quite incredible. Just what does the word paranormal mean, anyway? 
The paranormal includes telepathy or communicating by sending and receiving thoughts, extrasensory perception or perceiving that which cannot physically be seen or heard, and psychokinesis, using one's psychic energy to reshape or move objects. Did you hear about the explosion and fire? Where were you on January 6th, Richard Topham? I heard the explosion and fire. Ruined my 9 o'clock session. There's supernatural fantasy in the CW, Nancy Drew. I mean, I guess it, it is like Riverdale in another font, no. So you were with a customer when it happened? Pupil. I was with a pupil. I run a school, not a vegetable stand, and yes, I was. Until I dismissed her 20 minutes early. All the ruckus made concentration impossible. How well do you get along with Emily and her guardian, Jane? Very well, as far as I'm concerned. But as far as they're concerned, well... The fact that Josiah left everything to me made some people around here, including Emily and now this Jane Willoughby, very bitter. It hurts me, of course, but... It's human nature, I suppose. Yeah. Everyone's just going to be a bitter, sad flop. It's not your problem. When and how did you meet Josiah Crowley? Which Last summer, gay bar was it? Last summer, university for a conference, I stopped for a bite at the Lilac Inn. Since it was crowded and I was in a hurry, I agreed to share a table with an elderly gentleman who, like me, was by himself. As they were two lifelong him, bachelors. And what I did, well... He insisted that I give him a training session that very afternoon and was so thrilled with his progress that he demanded I stay and teach him everything I knew. Yeah, of course, we, we only watch Chicken Girls over here. No, no TV programming for us. No, thank you. He was a good student? The best. He had his annoying little habits, but his desire to realize his psychic potential was unparalleled. Were you surprised when you found out that Josiah had left you everything? Delighted, yes. Surprised, not really. He manifested Josiah that. Alone, you he had a vision board. Surrounded by people like the Crandalls and that banker, Jim Archer. People who were nice to him only because they knew he had money. Can you imagine? Would it be okay if I looked around? Go right ahead. The place is more like a museum than a house. Josiah was a man of many, many interests. I'll be right here if you have any questions. I hope my house looks like this when I'm old, though, to be fair. Hmm. God, that little creature. Was this Josiah's clock? Everything in here was Josiah's. You know, that would make sense. I am a, starting to become a detective of sorts. The rats. The rats. Fear the rats. Oh, it's a little buggy. We play at night. We stalk at night. We're the rats. The Taco Bell. And I'm the giant rat that makes all of the rules. Oh. The flipping is sort of slowing me down, I think. Oops. Dang it. Oh, it resets. No, no. It's okay. I won't let it slow me down. I mean, it, it is slowing me down, but I won't actually let it slow me down. Well, now I have to remember what I re remembered from before. I just made it much more difficult for myself. There we go. Thank you. I was like, I could have sworn. There we go. There we go. Um, yes. Okay, good, good. Got that. I don't think we've seen that, perhaps? Gee. This is gonna take me, like, twice as long with this little mouse. Yeah, right? I aspire to be wealthy enough to just have a clock puzzle above my fireplace. That's really all I want. Whoops. I promise I could do this faster. Like, if if the game could keep up with me, but it can't. Hmm. 
I'm too fast, too furious for this game. Mm. Oh. At. 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 We did it. Hello? Hello? Okay. <laughs> I wonder what this mirror is doing in here. Okay, we're good. Game has not broken thus far. Oh yeah, I definitely I want a secret room in my place too. My uh my nana when her childhood home had a secret room, which was really cool. And she like went back to it when she was like in her sixties and she was like, check this out. Because, <laughs> like, the new homeowner let her in, and she opened up the secret room, and they were like, <gasps> I mean, they knew it was there, but they're like, oh my gosh, you knew about the secret room? You knew our secrets! And Anna was like, yeah, it's cool, I'm cool, or whatever. As you soon realize, Josiah's mental faculties were starting to go, I'm afraid. He tended to ramble. Very little of what he wrote in there makes sense. What oh yeah, these are the puzzles. What poet is the cat's meow? What will Para, my miniature golf course, get you? What's Gloria's middle name? Oh yeah, I should be writing things down. I need a notebook. I need to be taking be coder diligent notes. Rivet. Two to the right. I'll oh, see, I didn't even need hints for these things. I'm too good. Anyways, we're getting ahead of ourselves. Oh, I don't carry that around with me? Okay, well, yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's so loud. <laughs> Sorry, I just blasted everyone's eardrums. I'll do it again, though. <laughs> Stay out of there, please. What? Why? Ugh. People are too soft these days. They won't even let me go into their bedrooms. A little horrifying. For William Crooks. Learning, learning, learning. Depends on the light. Light first. Do, do, do. Hmm. I don't even remember what that's referencing. I have, I have played this game before. Remember what that's referencing. The man on stage in this picture, <laughs> is that Josiah? Hard to say. Look at this picture of him with the doggo. It's a PNG of a dog. Honestly, Josiah could get it. He could get it. Thoughts on this? Oh, gremlin cat? Sure, certainly. I aim to please. <laughs> Where were you on January 6th is the real question. <laughs> this game spent months in development. What do you do with these? I put them on the windshields of cars parked in the air. It is the OG grumpy cat. Ever put them on cars at the Lilac Inn? All the time. I've gotten quite a few pupils that way. I'm afraid that fire uh, today was <laughs> as unfortunate for me as it was for Miss. Cut off Nancy. I don't know what she was going to say. Yeah, he's the real victim here. Ooh. Now, if I had one of these in my house, you bet I would be looking at this all day. I know. I don't know if y'all... I don't know how many of y'all are, are Nancy Drew fans or have watched my video on it, but um, the Nancy Drew company recently announced that they're like working on the 34th game. And I was really excited at first, but <laughs> already the fandom's starting to lose their patience with them because they like made this announcement trailer and then every single day they keep posting these like puzzles for people to solve. And the puzzles are just like Nancy's packing list and then you'll solve the riddle and it'll just be like, she's packing a sweater and a pen and it's like not actually information about the game so people are just like besties just 
like if you weren't ready to announce it don't announce it or like stop promoting it so much because people keep every time they post people think it's a release date and so all of the comments have just been like when are you giving us a release date <laughs> but you know maybe the game will itself will still be good um i think they're just scared to announce a release date because with midnight in salem they announced it several times and you know most of them did not come to fruition so they have their reasons. They have their reasons. I think they've overcorrected, perhaps, perchance. Oh, I don't have the stuff to solve this yet. Okay. We should be saving quite frequently. What, Goose? What? Why you boof? Don't boof. Don't boof. Let's mini golf over here. Oh, a miniature golf. People are closing their car doors outside the nerve. How much money do I have? Ooh, I'm wealthy, quite wealthy, I do say. Ooh. I love these kinds of games. Okay. Goose has gone to investigate. Okay. I hope I get it right on the first try. Right. One's in the right spot. Three of the colors are right. Let's switch. Green, red, orange. Oh, okay. Um, so... The... either the red or the green was in the right spot before. Try this. Oh my god, it's like Wordle, I just realized. That's exactly what it is, is it not? Dang it. Okay. Then it was the green. That was in the right spot. And we'll do... Yellow... Red... Oh, this is gonna be... This can't be right. Then the orange would be... Orange needs to be in a different spot. Do yellow at the bottom. Red at the top. If my mouse can make it over. Yeah! Hmm, interesting. Once, once, two, four, two. Oh, wait. Let me just write this down. Interesting. Very interesting. A one, a two, a four, a two, eight, two, seven. Boom. Boom. Nailed it. All right. Now the mini golf, I'm a little bit more nervous about with the game uh, running as, as it currently is, but, but we'll see. I should... Well, I guess we'll just see how it goes first. And then I'll save. Got that. Woo! The whole budget went to these mini golf animations. All right, there we go. Okay. Can't hit the links without a scorecard. Oh my gosh. Okay, fine. You want to play by the rules? All right, let's do this. What are you doing, sir? You, <laughs> you comfortable? You cozy? Okay. He's floofing it up back there. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Hole in one. I'm feeling it. Okay. Well, <laughs> ah, you see? That, I, fucked, I fucked it up a little bit. Oh. Okay, okay. Well, that's below par, so... Hang on. Not this. Alright, we gotta save every time we get below par so that we're not doing this all night. 
Or we could, you know, do it the honest way, like when I was a child and, you know, take forever. But um, I don't think so. We're not doing that. Oof. Nice, nice, nice. Honestly, mini golf, I feel like whenever I play it um, in real life, kind of stresses me out. I feel like I like the idea of mini golf in practice. Stresses me out. Stresses me out just a little bit. Yeah, we're doing the speedrun strats, exactly. Because we have to pay money to play a game. And I'm not, you know, Nancy's rich. Nancy's not, not going to do that more than she needs to. Oh, is this a secret? Is this a secret little hole? I'm going to try that. I'm not sure if I'm correct about that. Oh, I'm not. That was... <laughs> Can you see what that looked like? Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Thought I was going for a secret. Oh. Oh, no. Did not go well. I hit it too hard. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Interesting, interesting. But what if, what if perhaps... I did this. Okay. <laughs> Thought that was a secret hole. Sorry. Sorry. Whole lot of... Okay. Huh? There we go. This mouse is trying its best. It's trying its darndest. Okay. Uh-oh. 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 Okay. Uh. Oh, God. No. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, this is not going well. It's not going well at all. Eh. 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 That's probably fine. Should I save? Uh. We'll save. It's still under pro. I might live to regret that. I might. I should have done a second save. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done. But I didn't. Ooh, we lined that up well, though. <gasps> Just silent screaming. I'll tell you what, though, this is not going great. Well, I'll probably be like, what? I'll probably be at seven again. Six. Okay, okay, okay. So I just have to get the next one in five. Is that doable? I don't know. Probably. Stream one. Okay. It's probably doable. This is pretty ambitious for the 30s. I would say, when was mini golf? When did mini golf come to be, honestly? Honestly, this feels like some 70s nonsense. This feels like somebody was on some acid just doing whatever wacky thing came into their head. I don't know if this is a 30s thing. I hit it too hard. Oh, Nancy, don't be so hard on yourself. Uh-oh. We're cutting it close. Oof, I think I only have one left. Oh. Oh. There's no... No, it's over. <laughs> it's super over now. Okay, we're just gonna... We're just gonna load this. Okay. I don't know. Maybe I should have... 
Maybe I should have done better in the earlier ones. Too late now to live with the choices I made. Oh. Oh, that was bad. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was bad. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I just keep doing this. Actually, you know what? We're gonna load. We're gonna load stream. Yes, certainly. Because I could have done better on this one as well, and we'll see. Okay. Oh, I thought I had moved it further. <laughs> pitiful, just pitiful, absolutely. All right, <laughs> starting over. Yeah, oh, oh, it's beans on toast. It's, it's Toaster City at the moment, okay. All right, silent. Silent at the court, on the field, whatever. I don't, I don't play golf. Ooh! That was pretty good! Oh! Okay. No! Ah. Ah. Let me see. We're switching back. We're switching back to stream one temporarily. We're changing it up, keeping it fresh. Dang it! If I had got, if I had just gotten that last one, it would have been all good. It would have been all fine and dandy. Man, this is hard. This is harder than I remember it being. <laughs> oh well, this is doomed, isn't it? Would you say? I hit it too hard. Well, if I get it in this, <laughs> I can do it. What do you think, though? What are the odds of that happening? Oh, no. Missed it. No! Man, that's tough. That last one on five is tough. I believe... Oops, I didn't actually... I thought I was loading the other one. That's fine, though. We'll do this one. Yeah, see, it's this part that, that trips me up. Oh, that wasn't far enough. Ah, No! Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No, thank you. Okay. Uh, this is what doomed me. That's what really did me in. Such a fool. Maybe I shouldn't be lining it up this way. I am lining it up this way every time, and maybe perhaps I should stop doing that perchance. Perchance? Perhaps? <gasps> no. Hmm. Hmm. I hit it too hard. Yeah, I would say so, Nancy. I would say so. I mean, this one. This one isn't it. Clearly. <laughs> Clearly, this one isn't it. Okay. Should have. I should have done another load. All right, we're moving on to the final one. We're seeing what we can do here in this situation. Okay. Not optimistic, if I'm being honest. Oh, oh, that was pretty good. I, don't, I wish I could get a better angle over here, though. Oh. I hit it too hard. Yeah, well, I was kind of limited in my angles. Dang it. It all came down to that last one. I mean, I really need to send it on these last ones, huh? Really? Okay. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. 
this is the one. And if not this one, it's the next one. Exactly. Exactly. All right. We're just going to send this one straight down. Going to try anything fancy. Just good old honest mini golf. I hate this. I hate it. I hate the way I positioned it. I hate this. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the, <laughs> the worst possible scenario. I mean, that part's not bad. I hit it too hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Going crazy. Oh, horse feathers. Oh, horse feathers, indeed. We're, we're golfing. We're golfing, all right. That was close, though. I'm just one away. You don't have to be under par, correct? It just has to be par. <sighs> this corner. Corner's the, the, the scary part. I wish I could pull this back further, but it doesn't let me. Game's like, you're too powerful. No, stop, quick. Game hates powerful women. And that's the secret. They don't want to... No! They don't want to tell you. I'm going to lose it. <laughs> I hit it too hard. What, is, what even was that? What was that? <laughs> Yeah, I made I made one Tiger Woods video, and now I'm a golfing channel, and this is my new personality. So everyone get ready for it. Everyone get get locked and loaded. This is what I do. This is who I am. <gasps> Ooh, that was good. That was good. That was not good. I was kind of thinking if I should I should save just having that position lined up, to be honest, but it's too late. Hmm. Perhaps I should just start over. And perhaps accept that my speedrunner strat sucked. <laughs> that it was maybe bad all along. I hit it too hard. Oh, oh. I hit it too hard. Oh, uh, oh, I hit oh. It too hard. You already said that, Nancy. Dang it. Oh, horse feathers. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I think we should just do it again. I say, do it again. Looks like I'm supposed to put my scorecard. It's because I think that's that seven. We just like should have redone that seven. That was unacceptable. Oh, did I already return it? Okay. Okay. I hit it too hard. That's the problem. Game hates powerful women, and you can tell her interacted with themselves that I said that. Don't tell them that. I want to be a voice actor in the next game, of course, even though I'm trashing them. Okay. We're back for the first time. Absolutely. That's what we like to see. Imagine if I hit load instead of save. Fantastic. Off to a fantastic start, might I say. Okay. The power of trash talking her interactive is giving me strength to carry on. I hit it too hard. No. No, Nancy. Oh. Kind of ruined my streak there. We're not taking any chances. I can do that better. I can do that better. Okay. Women in sports, that's me. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I once raced against an Olympic athlete. She did beat me. She actually lapped me, but I did race against her, so I'm strong and powerful, athletic. Oh, God. How did I do this one in four before? Kind of, what was I on at the time? 
I was on youth. I had youth on my side. I had hope for my future. <laughs> this definitely counts as a sports game. I, I think this counts as eSports, actually. And I'm hoping I get recruited soon. Or I'm in my prime before the carpal tunnel sets in. Ooh, this is going well. This is going well. I hit it too hard. No, it's okay. It's okay. Hmm. We're starting a third save for that one. Hit it too hard. I can't do a question mark. Okay. Because we're still we're we're still three below at the moment, so. We need as much power as we can get back here. <gasps> oh, in absolutely spectacular. She nails the landing. I mean, did you see that Simone Biles just won her eighth gold all around? Um, first uh, woman to do so, I believe. First US woman to do so. Um, I'm basically Simone Biles. I mean, I don't want to exaggerate too much, but. Can you spot the difference? <laughs> I was actually... I was actually... Um, I saw her win her first world championship in Belgium. I think it might have been her first. That was pretty cool. I was like up in the nosebleeds, but I did see it. And we, we were at the same hotel as the Russians that night, and the Russian coach was drunk out of his mind, and he knocked into me. As, as a Russian coach, drunk Russian coach would tend to do, I suppose. I feel like this one is not going so well. Not going so, so well, but you know, who knows. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Unacceptable. Unacceptable. This is what got me last time. We're not doing this again. Yeah, thank you. The Simone Biles of virtual mini golf. That's me. And it is really hard because, you know, like, I'm my own person with my own hopes and dreams and it's just like people keep getting us confused and I understand, but I just want to be myself at a certain point. Oh, okay. I'll go for it. Cause it's just because just cause it's right there. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, what are we at? Oh, okay. We've got... We've got points to spare, baby. Incredible. Incredible. I can get seven on both of these, and we'll still be good. Yes. <laughs> Quick maths. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Panic. I hit it too hard. No. No. My <laughs> I was about to say, this might just be a practice run. Hmm. Or, come on. Just in case. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine, but just in case. This one's for Simone. Party. Going pretty well so far, though, I do have to say. I hit it too hard. Oh, how, how, physically, how does that even happen, you know? Oh, I can't even... Okay, there we go. Now I really gotta send it. Hmm? I did it! I did it! Let's save that! Save, save, save. Save, save, save. 
Honestly, um, well, pirates love their mini golf. It's actually a little known fact. They would um, drill little holes in their ships. And, um, you know, you could only play the game for a short amount of time before things would start to go awry, but, you know. Okay, how do I get this thing in here? <laughs> Incredible. Oh, toy pony! Nice. Oh, I just forgot. We have not been checking off our task list whatsoever. Let's see what we've done. I haven't done that yet. Can't check that. Check. Can't check that. Can't check that off yet. That's done. Check. That's done. Can't. I haven't done that. Yet. Check. Can't check that off till it's done. Can't check that off yet. That's done. I'm finished with that. All right. I guess we should go see Jim Archer next. I think so. Oh, it's eight o'clock. It's almost. It's time for show and tell. That's what it's time for. All right. Well, I just saved, so that's actually good. Um, I'm gonna save again because I'm <laughs> paranoid that I didn't save. All right. I I think I I actually know what I'm gonna get for show and tell, so I won't be long. It'll just be thirty seconds. Me. Hey. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh my, <laughs> that's fun. I don't know why my screen is like that color. It's a fun little color. All right, give me one second. I think I know where it is. Yeah. Well, it's not really a game. It's more of you sit and listen while I show you things. <laughs> but I'm sure you all will be very good at this game. Yeah, we've got lovely, lovely Goose just out of frame. He was, don't worry, Goose, I'm back. All right. So I thought this would be special given, oh, incendiary jazz truffle, of course. Well, let's just <laughs> give you the Goose cam, give you a double feature. <laughs> we'll just scooch over here. Goosey. Oh. Do you see that? I can't possibly make him get up. <laughs> oh. I don't know if you can really see if he just kind of looks like a black lump on screen. But anyways. Yeah, he's he's too cozy. If he's feeling in the mood in a couple minutes, we'll go. I'm going to move back over here to where the mic is, though. Yeah, he's being a good boy. Whoops, I knocked it over. So, I thought this was special given... um. What's been going on in the news as of late? Oh, I'm like right on the chat. Yeah, now I'm not in an ideal position. Um, this, I got this in 2020 from uh, someone who was then the, the vice president <laughs> of the United States of America. Say this, oops, not up. Yep, this is um, what's called a challenge coin. Uh, it's a it's a military thing, from my knowledge. I don't really. This is how it's explained to me. But when basically when you've been like a special little boy in the military and whatnot, and you've made brave sacrifices, um, yeah. Mike Pence challenged me to a duel, and I beat him up, and he gave me this. <laughs> um, uh, but basically, it's just like a little little award that they they give to people, and. Um, I, I mean, I didn't, I didn't do anything special to clarify, certainly not for Mike Pence, but I have a family member who, um, works in the government. And so one of his, like, so Mike Pence, like invited us to go meet him and we got a picture with Mike Pence. I won't show you the picture just because, um, there are other people in the picture who I don't think, even if I censor their faces, they don't want that picture out there. But anyways, we went and got this picture and we had to get like COVID rapid tests and um, quarantined like for a couple hours before we could go meet Mike Pence as if Mike Pence um, cared about that sort of thing. But, you know, um, and 
we go in there and he shakes our hand and he slaps these <laughs> things into our hands as we're meeting him. And I have no idea what these these little boys are. Um, and we talked to him and um, I mean, we didn't we didn't talk about much. He just uh, talked about sports. I mean, like, what do you what do you even say? I also had like pink hair at the time, or, like little pink e-girl hairs. Um, and so I felt very exposed. <laughs> I felt very exposed in front of Mike Pence. And first of all, we go into Mike Pence's office and his staffers are watching SNL and laughing. Just, you know, a little, little interesting tidbit. Um, I don't think Mike Pence himself was watching SNL. But as we're waiting to meet Mike Pence, some very special people walk by. Uh, Mark Meadows walks by. <laughs> and I didn't know who Mark Meadows... I didn't recognize Mark Meadows because, like, you know, all the white guys kind of look the same to me. And so my uh, the people I was with just like were like elbowing me being like, oh, my God, that's a person. And I was like, oh, my gosh, that's a, a person. And as we were leaving, we saw the star of the show. We saw Rudy Giuliani waiting for the elevator just full. And his posture was like this. And he he really is just like a little gremlin in real life. And. This was right after the election, but before January 6th. <laughs> um, so Rudy Giuliani... <laughs> so perhaps... <laughs> so perhaps I was witnessing um, <laughs> some, some things that would be important in history later to come. He did not... He internally went... Nyeh! That's just like... The sound telepathically that he communicates to people as he walks into rooms. Yeah, perfect window of time to be in the White House. Sheer chaos. Sheer chaos. And I remember, so the person I was with um, had some knowledge about Mike Pence, because obviously Mike Pence had in invited us to go meet him. And I remember after we left, I asked uh, the person I was with, I was like, so does Mike Pence have like an exit plan? Is he is he leaving? Like what's going down? You know, not knowing <laughs> what's going on in the background other than just having like a vague idea that like Trump doesn't want to leave, right? And the person I was with was like, yes, like Pence has a place lined up. He's planning on leaving. And I was like, hmm, interesting, interesting. I wonder how that conflict will play out. And oh boy, did it did it play out. And uh, luckily, the person, like the person I was with, who got invited, they left that position in government, so they weren't involved with Mike Pence when you know people were calling for his head. That would have been a bad time, probably, to be directly next to Mike Pence. Probably would have been a dangerous time. So, <laughs> so now I have this this piece of history, and if I ever get called in for a deposition, y'all know why. Um, I really couldn't testify to much other than everyone's having terrible posture. Yeah, so that that's my show and tell time, my show and tell story. I hope it was exciting for you all. Yeah, I hope I'm glad you're pleased. Also, no, oh, Whitson. I might do a. Obviously, you can see Goose over there, but you know this isn't a proper Goose cam. If he's more energized next time. I'll do a goose cam next time as well. Uh, Weather nerdy boy, I'm not. Ex that's that's what people wanted. That's what people wanted. That that was actually a thing, that was happening. <laughs> so that's my testimony. <laughs> Anyways, let's get let's get back to Nancy Drew. The Secret Service is just recording this Twitch. You, you watch, and the FBI just like pops into chat. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put this back on the on the stream. We could just like look at my face, you know, as as we're gaming. Uh, he's not laying with a pillow of himself. He's laying with a pillow of my uh, childhood dog, my parents' dog, Nutmeg. When I went to college, my and for my sister too, my mom got us pillows with Nutmeg on it because I used to sleep with Nutmeg in my bed and then my sister when i moved out she slept with nutmeg in her bed so it was so that we could keep nutmeg with us when we were at college 
Yeah, <laughs> I was marked for surveillance the second they saw my pink e-girl hair. Exactly, exactly. I was put on a list <laughs> the second I walked into that building. Yeah. But yeah, much sweeter story about <laughs> the nutmeg pillow. Uh, it's like, I forget how crazy that story is until I really think it through. That That's absolutely absurd that that happened. <laughs> and I had no idea what was to come. Ugh. Madness. Anyways, okay, I've lost direction of where we're going. Let's go for a ride, shall we? Hmm, that car I saw before is gone. Hmm. Okay. We are going to the bank. Ugh. Ugh, this this drives beautifully, I must say. Hello, I'm looking for Jim Archer. Right through that door. Hello, are you Nancy Drew? <laughs> Sounds like Emily called you. Yes, ma'am. Jim Archer. I'm founder, president, manager, and just about everything else you can name when it comes to this fine enterprise. <laughs> I hear that some businesses aren't doing so well these days. Ever since the stock market crashed, one business after another has closed, including banks. President Hoover Not the banks. The recovery is just around the corner, but you have to wonder. Some people say we're headed for a depression. Well, that kind of pessimism is Yeah, he's got the eagle blush on. Thinking ahead and taking action. That's what we businessmen should be doing right now. And I'm happy to report that we're doing just fine, thank you. Excuse me. Main Street Bank, Jim Archer speaking. No, I don't. I'm sorry, but... Yes, I know, but... All right, then just bring it by. Ugh. Don't you dare ask what's up. Sorry for the interruption. How can I help you? Ugh. Rotate this back. Eh. There we go. There we go. Goose is such a sleepy boy. How well do you know Jane Willoughby? You know, Emily's guardian? Not well at all. Met her once or twice. Seemed a little... flighty. What was Emily's mom like? That pig is staring at me. Shoulders. Look at that pig's Pretty eyes. Good. Having a big slice of blueberry pie at the lilacan was always a real treat. It'd be nice if family could carry on the tradition, but times are just too tough. If she's smart, she'll sell before the bills start piling up. Do you happen to know whether the jewelry Emily inherited from her mother was insured? Well, I know for a fact that it was not. Why? Because someone snuck into the inn today and stole it. <gasps> oh, no. I heard there'd been a fire oh, in the kitchen. Oh, no. When it rains, it pours, doesn't it? I told Gloria not to let that policy lapse. 1930, I believe. Why did she let it lapse? She felt that since... When the economy Riley, is going swell. ...some of money when he died... Or so she thought. Paying to insure her jewelry just wasn't necessary. Yeah, the pig in the corner is staring at me. <laughs> not, not the pig in the middle. <laughs> How well did you know Josiah Crowley? Well enough for him to name me executor of his will. An executor is the person who executor? Makes the terms of a will are carried out. Why do you think he wound up leaving Gloria nothing? I have no idea. Truth be told... He'd given me the impression that I would be well taken care of when he passed on, too. But when I finally read... He was well, hustling. I went to top him. Where did Josiah keep his will? He'd hidden it in a chest of drawers in his house. It took me months to find it. When he named me executor, he said he'd tell me executor. where it was hidden when the time was The way right. he says it. Whatever that meant. It's... It's in the clock. Immediately bust open all of the clocks in sight. How did Josiah die? He was sitting in the public library reading when, apparently, his heart just decided it was time to stop. What was he reading? His favorite book, The Makeup Secrets of Lon Chaney. He was a confirmed bachelor, let's just say that. He does say it like the Pokemon name. The will you found in Josiah's house. Is it possible that Josiah didn't really write it? Well, the thought that it could be a forgery did cross my mind. 
But an expert verified that the will had been typed on Josiah's typewriter and signed in Josiah's hand. But Richard Topham lived in Josiah's house. Oh, I'd already house. clicked that. He had access to his typewriter, and he could have copied Nancy is signature. deep in the conspiracy as right out the, the gate. As concerned, the matter is closed, Miss Drew. But it's possible that Josiah's real will is still out there. Are you sure he never gave you any clue as to where he'd hidden his will? Whenever I asked him, he said he'd tell me when the time is right. Although, he got a safe deposit box here about three years ago. Maybe that's where his real will is. Busted open. Topham has tried to claim its contents, but he can't find the key. Oh, I. this is why I can't have a safety deposit box. The executor of my estate would be doomed. If Topham can't find the key, maybe it's because it wasn't Lose in Josiah's everything. house. Now, Miss Drew, Thoughts and prayers to the people who have to deal with my estate. Conclusions. I guess I'll be going. Give my best to Emily. Doo -doo, doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, look at that pig. It's beefy too. Or it's beefy for a pig. It's not the right word to describe Don't a you pig. Use this typewriter. That used to be Josiah Crowley's. It was the only thing he left me in his will. Naturally, it doesn't work. The keys always jam. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. October 9, nineteen twenty-nine. Here. Sheldon, here is the... Is this how typewriters work? I don't think that's how typewriters work. Said you could borrow. I have one, and I don't... For your party at... It doesn't do this. Elms, please take care of it, because I will want it back someday. Your friend, Josiah C. I wonder if Josiah ever got his trip back. Typewriter is just exposing all the secrets. I don't... Okay, how do I back out? There we go. Anything else fun over here? Doesn't look like it. Who's Clara? <laughs> Clara Pickford is this lonely old woman who comes in here every once in a while. Clara Pickford, also a great drag name. Giving me that picture. Love it. Love it. Where did you get this clock? Josiah Crowley gave it to me. It stopped keeping time the minute he walked out the door. Ooh, okay. No, we can't break in there. Okay, fine. All right, we gotta deliver a thing, right? It's here. Something I can do for you? Well, my name's Nancy Drew, and my father Say said Say no that... more. You're here to pick up some papers. They're in that envelope. Thank you. I love that. You're welcome. That sound. Hey, is that your roadster out there? Yes, it is. Did I park somewhere I shouldn't have? No, no, it's just that my regular driver never showed up today, so I've got no way to deliver all these telegrams. How would you like to earn some extra cash? Oh no, we're getting a side hustle. Deliver them for you? You've got a car, you're trustworthy, or at least your father thinks you are. We're a Nepo baby? We got a job. It's easy. You complete a delivery, and you might even get some tips. Okay, sure. Great. Nancy you're will work hired. for tips. Here. Deliver this to Seymour out at Blenheim Nursery. Come back when you're Suddenly done. Suddenly, you Seymour. Another telegram to deliver. Great. See you in a little while. All right. I think I know where that is. I'm just going off my vague memory of the situation. It's over here, right? Right. Oh God. Ugh. Hello, I've got a telegram for Seymour. Just leave it on the desk there. I'd uh, tip you, but as you can see, my hands are filthy. What are you doing? I'm trying to doll up some of my plants before this- Lore, guys, lore. Comes in. He's a big cheese at some oil company, and I'm hoping he- Ow! Did that plant just bite you? It did kind of feel that way. I think I'll be going now. Bye! Rise of the planet of the Venus flytraps. Oh, dang it. Getting lost already. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's your next telegram. Take this. Nancy to loves a big cheese. Avondale. Keep up the good work. Also, didn't I. Don't I have a receipt for something? Oh, yeah, the, the jeweler. I should check. I'm going to check on that while I'm out and about as well. This is not a very walkable city, I must say. Where are the sidewalks? Hello, 
are you where are the public Dale? infrastructure? I, am. I found this receipt, and I just wonder what you could tell me about it. Let me see that. One key, determine resale value, item 493. Oh, yeah. This was for that key Jim Archer wanted me to appraise. Jim Archer wanted you to appraise a key? It was very ornate. It had jewels all over it. Fake jewels, as it turned out. <gasps> when I told him it was worthless, the cheapskate refused to pay me and told me to keep it. Do you think I could have it? Sure. Once you pay the appraisal fee... Which is... A dollar and fifty cents. I'm annoying that the chat is cutting off. Enjoy. Hang on. I'm going to exit out of this for just a split second. Ignore that. There we go. There we go. A little bit. It's still cutting off a little bit. Just a little bit, but... Da, 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 da. That way it's not cutting all the way off. It's driving me crazy, and I'm not even the one looking at it most of the time. Um, I think it's down here. At least I hope so. Otherwise, I'm really wasting my time. Oh, beans! It's over there! Ugh. Ragnarok512, thank you for the sub! That I can actually see. Okay. Here we go. We're going. We're making it. Skirt. Okay. Hi, I've got a telegram <sighs> for a counselor here named Alice. That's me. Hang on. Oh, go try. I never played the American Girl <laughs> games that I remember. Jokester. Anyway, thanks. At a cultural appropriation things. camp. That's okay. Have a swell day. No one, no one tips around around these parts. No one wants to work these days, and no one wants to tip apparently either. All right. Do, 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 do. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good. Well, we gotta go get the trivet, don't we? And here's your next telegram. Should we do the trivet fetch quest? Start that. Keep up the good work. If any of y'all have played this game, we're about to start a chain of events that may may never end. To be quite honest, but we might as well start it now. Do -do. Mrs. Sheldon? Get ready. My name's Nancy Drew. Is that the Biltmore estate? Crandles. That's the Get Biltmore. I've been there. I was wondering, would it be possible for me to see the trivet you borrowed from just Asheville, North Carolina? I not only see it, you may have public domain image. That is. Unfortunately, I've an errand to run, so I can't look for it right now. Maybe I could run the errand for you. I have a car. So I see. A rather expensive car at that. Very well, Miss Drew. Go fetch my bridge cards from Miss Drakowski, and upon your return, I shall present you with that trivet. Who's Miss Drakowski? Tipping, <coughs> oh, tipping culture has gotten out of control, so maybe the 1930s were onto something. I got my own spit <laughs> down the wrong pipe. As you can imagine, she never entertains. I, on the other hand, am expecting company within the hour, so do hurry. <coughs> no, I remember the Biltmore is owned by the the Vanderbilts, like one of the wealthiest country in the world, one of the wealthiest countries, wealthiest families in the world. Um, Anderson Cooper is Biltmore. I learned that. And I remember most of the tour is uh, narrated by their like great 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 grandchildren who inherited this estate, and they're like, "You'll notice my great grandfather had this great idea to put copper on on this kitchen appliance, and it was so so fancy." It's a little bit. I was like, "All right, all right." How, how much are we going to revel in what these rich people were doing in the 1920s? Like, we went to their workout room and they're like, They had a climbing rope where they would get swole. Where am I going? Is this it? Okay. Yeah. Are you Miss Jakowski? Yeah. And I'm sure we don't need to revel in whatever the Vanderbilts did to get that giant house. You know, at the Lilac Inn. You through to your I don't even know. I just assume. You pick up those papers for him yet? Actually, I. Wait a minute. How did you know about that? See this headset? Snuggly, hi. 
What do you know? I hear things. Look, I'm kind of pressed for time. Going to a party and it takes me a while to get dolled up. What do you need? Mrs. Sheldon asked me to pick up her bridge cards from you. Tell you what. I'll get you those cards if you drive that fancy I was just saying, I um, I wasn't going to play Nancy Drew tonight, and then I saw that you followed me, and I was like, well, this is just perfect timing. Good, I gotta go. Just wanted to feel alive, you know? And by George, if Nancy Drew doesn't do that for me. Where am I going? I forgot. We're doing the orphanage next, I think. I'm trying to go off of... It's been quite some time since I played this one. I think we're going to the orphanage. I think that's correct. Excuse me, are you Mrs. O'Shea? Yes, my name is Nancy Drew and- Steven, put that down this instant! Stungly makes really wholesome Nancy Drew content for those who don't know, by the way. I'm sorry, you were saying? Miss Joukowsky asked me to pick up some raffle tickets from you. Oh yes, the raffle tickets. The fact of the matter is I- Elsie, no hitting! I can't even think about those raffle tickets right now. I promised the children they'd each get a toy for going a full week without breaking anything. And I'm short five toys. Do not eat that Clarence. Would you like me to get- Not Clarence. Grew up to be Clarence Thomas. I'm forever grateful. They can be any kind of toy at all. The children aren't the least bit picky. Of course it tastes bad, Clarence. It's a pine cone. I better go- I know. I feel like I could have been a voice actor for her interactive. They just let anybody- He's actually chewing it. You're not a squirrel, Clarence! Spit that up! You used to put on a fun little voice and boom, you're in a Nancy Drew game. It could be Irish, I suppose. Okay. How much are the toys? I forgot, where's the vending machine for the toys? I think it's the general store? Hang on, I have a map. But the map doesn't show diddly darn anything. Ugh, okay. Doop, doop, doop. Okay, I think we're going to the general store. I think, I think. It definitely was. I miss, um... That's the fun thing about point-and-click games, especially from the 90s, is that you would look at the, the voice acting credits and it literally, it just would be, like, the developers and their friends and their buds. A more innocent time. They, they don't make them like they used to, you know? Alright. How am I... Can't... Where am I? I'm lost. Uh... Do -do 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 -do. Big cow is blocking my way. Okay. I think I'm going the right way. I think so. Am I gonna have enough money, though? I don't know if I will. Maybe I could okay, some good. toys for the orphans in here. Woof. Woof. A machine that just sells toys. Keen. Keen. Oh, yes. Slay. Toy without putting in money first. Oh, okay. Capitalism rules. All right. Let's do it. One. Two toys down, three to go. Um, let's see. Obviously, oh, <laughs> speedy little eyes are. Get the toy without putting in money first. All right, Nancy. All right, we're doing it. Snuggly, what game was that? That sounds so cute. That makes three toys. I also feel like a lot more women were, um, like, doing game development in the 90s. Like, um, I forget the the name of the couple, but Sierra Games, the ones that made King's Quest, was like, oh, all a husband and wife duo for a really long time. And they were really good games, too. And then Patriarchy came and Four toys. I just need ruined it all. Oof. Oof. I'm gonna be broke. Plain. Get the toy without putting in money first. Every every time, I do this to myself every time. Roberta, you're right. It is Roberta something. Also, Amber Journeys Beyond. Okay, I'm also writing that down when I'm not. Five toys. Doing this. All I need. But first, I gotta be eyes on the road. Okay. First of all, where? 
Am I delivering this? Uh oh. Uh oh, I forgot. Is it Johnson's farm? It might be. Get off my property <laughs> now! And take that in. Oh my gosh! With you. I've made a crucial hey, error. Roberta Williams. Legend. Legend Roberta Williams. All right, I already forgot what we were supposed to be delivering next, and I just got yelled at. This is America. This is a dangerous. You can't be doing that. <laughs> you can't just be showing up places. Did you deliver that telegram? Not yet. Can't pay you until you deliver it. You know. I know. See you later. But where? But where? Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. I've just doomed myself. I got yelled at. Hi, do you have I'm still not over that. I got yelled at. I certainly do. Oh, that's wonderful. You're such a saint. You hear me? A saint. I'd better get these inside before the children. Because we're not even done the fetch quest. So I definitely much. need to get uh, gas so and the raffle tickets? make money. Oh, the uh oh. I don't have them, dear. You'll have to pick them up from Phelps Print Shop. Then just take them straight to Mr. Kowski. We don't pull hair, Ralphie. Should we just stop by every door and see who yells at us? <sighs> Phelps Print Shop. Wonderful. Ooh, yeah, because I need to get gas. This is a, a problemo. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Welcome to Zippy's, where Zipless service is Zippily Zapped, and Zippy service is the zippiest. Fill her up. Just 50 <sighs> cents worth, please. That'll We're be pumping. 50 cents. Here you go. Thank you, miss. Anything else? Ooh, Snuggly, I'll take a hint if it's figuring out where I'm delivering. I thought you just click on it, or if you ask them. Mm. That's not beautiful. I keep clicking on it like it's going to do something. Or, alternatively, other idea. I just keep going places and seeing who yells at me. What do you want? Nothing, really. Then scram. Everyone's so mean. Oh, it's this. You are absolutely correct. What is that envelope, then? Okay. Okay, well then, let's go. Well, that's definitely the dairy place. Hello, I need to deliver this telegram to Mr. Because I'm poor now. Hey, thanks. You can tell me I'm all wet, but I don't have any money to tip you with. At least he's not yelling at me. Here, how about a nice fresh glass of milk? Uh, no, thank you. Bye. Ugh. Okay, that's going... <laughs> I don't know if that's the sound that mud makes, necessarily. Alright, we got this. Did you deliver that telegram? I sure did. Good for you. Here's your money. And here's, here's your, your next, next telegram. telegram. This one goes to Miss Ross at Sunnybrook Farm. Oh, well they yelled at me at Sunnybrook Farms. But anyways, I think we have enough for now. I think we're fine for now. Now that we've figured out how to find the the telegram delivery places. I think we're all good. Because I think we find a dollar later on. I'm just here to pick up the raffle tickets you printed for Mrs. O'Shea. Oh, darn it. I did tell her I'd have those done today, didn't I? Well, I'm sorry, but they're just going to have to wait until tomorrow. Oh, but I need to have them today. Oh, you know Nancy loves milk. <laughs> Fishing? My brother-in-law thinks he's hot stuff because he caught an 18-inch largemouth bass this morning. So I bet him I could catch a 19-incher by the end of the day. And if I do, I get his stamp collection. And if I don't, he gets mine. And since stamp collection... Nancy just eats tuna and milk. I, that's what I bet. Days, I'm going fishing. I know. You stay here and print those raffle tickets, and I'll go fishing for you. Not everybody can catch a 19-inch large... I play Animal Crossing. I think I'm... Skill. I take my chances. Awesome. Brains. Bass are pretty smart. I can do it, Mr. Phelps. You better be right, because you're not getting those raffle tickets until I get my 19 inches. 
can use my gear. I left everything out at the fishing hole. Great. I'll see you later. Ugh. I can't wait to, um, take one of those pictures with my 19-incher and make it Nancy's Facebook profile picture. All right. There is a way to, like, figure out how to fish, but I say we just do it tr through trial and error. I think they they like minnows. Now I toss this in the water, and when the bobber goes under the water, picking up a minnow vibe from them. No, it's just how I'm feeling. That was loud. All right. Just like real fishing. Oh, I. I love the Nancy Drew video. I wanted to do that one for a long time. Maybe I need to use something else for bait. Okay. Oh, my. Nancy said, I think you're good. These games are just pure nostalgia for me. And her interactive is just such a, a wild rabbit hole to fall down. Hmm, I feel like I want to get further in there, but I guess maybe I can't. Anything? Anything? Oops, oh, I need to... It was too slow, it got away. I was, I had it in the wrong spot. Okay. You like that? <laughs> Still loud. <laughs> yeah, the sound mixing on this game leaves something to be desired. Aw, oh, oh, thank you, Snuggly. I remember researching that. I forget. I um, oh, well that that won't do. But that was where how I found Snuggly's content. I forget what exactly I was looking for. You might have had. I think you had stuff about old her interactive too, about the like Mackenzie game. And I think that was probably the first video of yours I found. This doesn't look like a largemouth bass. No, I would say not quite. All right, let's change it up. I think, I think it's a big boy. I think he needs the minnows. <laughs> if we caught a car engine fishing? Yeah, that, that sounds about right. I got a fish! An old can. Maybe there's money inside it. <gasps> oh boy, I'm beginning to really I wonder how much Mackenzie & Co. is on eBay. Or if it can even, if you can get it to run these days. Should... I feel like there's not that many out there. That's got to be hard to come by. Hmm. Oh, for those who don't know, it's basically like a, a 90s dating sim. So that would be pretty fun. I would be into that. Oof. Still loud. I guess we just got to try straight down the middle next time. I got a fish! Fish! Woo! Hey, little guy. This doesn't look like a largemouth bass. No, of course not. Okay. I guess now we gotta try... Let's do a worm. I don't know if we've done a worm. Well, it's like my little axolotl eats those. He goes nom nom nom. I never played putt-putt as a kid. I caught one! Or, um... Or Freddy Fish. I played... I played Spy Fox, though. I played those ones a lot. Dan and I, um... We just played one of the Freddy Fish games. I forget which what it was called. That was the first time I had done a Freddy Fish game. I feel like all the Humongous games are about the same. Oh, and I've done Pajama Sam, too. That was also Humongous. Hello. There you go. Hmm. Yeah, let's do... Let's do Straight Down the Middle. I love fishing. Just fishing and hanging out with old friends. I have a real axolotl, yeah. Uh, her name is Dart. She is five years old. She is a wild type. Oh, no. I'm gonna throw this one back. I got her because, um... I was really into pet tube at the time, like, watching people, like, feed their pets and, like, care of videos of pets 
and I really liked axolotls, and I specifically wanted like the leucistic kind, like the white and pink ones that you see all the time, but I hadn't gotten one yet. And then one day, I was over at my friend's house, um, and their friend came over, and my friends, my friend Gerardo, their friend was moving, and so they needed, and they were like really into fish, like they were a fish hobbyist. And they were staying overnight at a hotel in between moves, and so they needed to keep all of their fishies and stuff at my friend Gerardo's place. And so I was helping them, like, move all the fish in and out. And then uh, the friend comes out, and he's got, like, whoops. I've got to be faster. I know, I'm sorry. He's just got, like, a little tank with, like, ten little baby axolotls in it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've always wanted one. And they're like, oh, well, you can have one for free, because I guess... I don't know if this is scientifically true. Axolotls can morph, and um, but I don't know if they can morph in the way that this person described. He claimed that his two axolotls were like a, were two females, but that they fell in love and one of them like morphed into a male, and then they accidentally had a bunch of axolotls that they didn't want. So I got my axolotl for free. Um, got little Dar for free. And she was so so cute and so small. She was literally like this big. And now she's like this big. I'll have to show you guys pictures sometime. She's really cute. I got a fish. <laughs> uh anyways. Throw this one back. I've slowly lost track of like <laughs> which bait and location combo I'm doing, but. I know, I really should be making money off of this. Nancy needs a side hustle, and this is it. I also keep forgetting I need to be over here. I caught one. That is that. I I'm rich. Money. Now that's my kind of fishing. I'm at least rich. I mean, this is the most tips I've gotten the whole time. Oh, I thought I had my phone near me, but I don't. Oh well. Okay. Um. All right. I need to start paying attention to what I'm doing so I can remember <laughs> what exactly I'm catching. I got one. Nope. I'm gonna throw this one back. So yeah, for anyone thinking about getting an axolotl, I would, I would caution you against it because even though my axolotl was free, um, you know, and it worked out, you know, just impulse picking up a, a tiny little animal is not always advised, you know. I just happen to have already researched <laughs> how to take care of an axolotl and I was a college student so it was kind of hard to, the startup cost was kind of a lot, but now I have like a full set up for her and she lives her best life because now she's in a 40 gallon tank she started out in just like a little five gallon tank and um she needs to be chill all the time like axolotls can't have water warmer than 64 degrees so she's got a water chiller keeps her chill all the time throw this one back um and axolotls are super messy so i've got like a really fancy canister filter for her. It's like, you know, I didn't start out with that stuff, but it's, it's pretty expensive. And she's gonna live for like 15 long years. So she's cute, but you know, she's not easy. Uh, I don't have any other aquatic animals. And I don't think I would, to be honest, because like... This is There's this whole thing when you get into the fish community that I watch about like cycling and making sure all of like the chemical levels in your water are right and they can go awry and like the more the more animals you have the the more the chance for things to change um, and axolotls can't like coexist with other animals besides other axolotls potentially because um, they'll just like eat whatever you put in the tank with them. I have my little gecko and he's a um, He's a cute little boy, but he's also, um, I invested a lot in him 
Like he's got like a bioactive tank with like live plants and stuff. It just bums me out because I just feel like, you know, people people get things from Petco and then they don't necessarily think about the long-term cost of these things. Yeah, I did show the, the gecko on stream a couple weeks this ago. I, I can't really, I can't take dart out of her water and show you. It's a little harder. I can show you pictures, but it's not that exciting. Your dad's fish obsessed? I, see the thing is, aquarium people are super into aquariums. It, it, I think it has to become an obsession. Because if it's not, it spirals out of control. <laughs> I did really want like a saltwater aquarium very badly until I just because I love going to aquariums and looking at them but the upkeep was just like I would not be able to do it on my own I would not so I just go to the national aquarium and live vicariously through them They're really cute. I used to really like um, Taylor Nicole Dean had this really cute fish named Cheese. I forget what the fish is type of fish it is, but it's like a little a little yellow cube, a little yellow cube fish. What was his name? What type of fish was it? I don't remember. There's like these little boxy yellow fish, and I just cowfish. They're cowfish. Cowfish are so cute. And then Cheese died, and I was really sad. Really sad about this YouTuber's pet dying. Ugh. I'm gonna throw this one back. Yeah. And it's like, I need to stop getting parasocial relationships with um, people online's pets, because it's just rough. Like, uh, Jenna Marbles... Dog Marbles is 15, and I worry about him. <laughs> Uh, far too often for a dog that I have not and will never meet. <laughs> I got a fish. <gasps> that it? 19 inches to me. Yep. I know, like I don't know what I know Jenna Marble's dogs are gonna are gonna pass at some point unless they're immortal, and I just I can't handle I'm gonna get emotional just talking about it now. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> oh. It's too much. Let's see what you got. In too there. much. How about that? You did it. Here, let me take it from you. <laughs> Please do. I think it's starting to get a little ripe. <laughs> Just rest yourself a minute while I get those raffle tickets. Anyways, we got the fish. <laughs> there you go. Ten dozen tickets to the annual orphans benefit. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go make a telephone call. To your brother-in-law? I love how, yeah, um... One who used to collect stamps. Everyone has different regional accents here. <laughs> Bye. Where are we? No one knows. No one knows. Alright, anyways. Are we done here? Are we good? Hi, you got those raffle tickets for me? I sure do. Great. And here are Mrs. Sheldon's bridge cards. One of the gals <laughs> they always have to get dark. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is why uh, Jenna Marble's dogs get me. Bye now. I can't control it. Can't control it. I'm uh I'm just a little Charlie Brown and I can't I can't help myself. I just I just am Charlie Brown, I am Eeyore, I I am the bummer that <laughs> <laughs> of your worst nightmares. Do you have my Anyways, we're back at the Biltmore. Right here. Good. And here is Josiah's trivet. I didn't realize when I asked to borrow. Forget why we need the trivet for exactly. But once a sumptuous dish of my buff stroganoff was placed on it, I assure you, no one noticed. Now do run along. My guests will be arriving any minute, and that dress of yours, it's uh, <laughs> well. Stroganoff. It's very flouncy. Good to know Nancy had no fashion sense, um, no matter the time period. All right, can we? We can cut this way. Oh no, we we can't. Oh, I need to deliver a telegram here. Get off my property now! I thought we did. Noise machine with you. Fine, I'm going. Whatever you say. 
Yikes. Yikes, indeed. Did we not? Sunnybrook Farm. Okay. <laughs> I just keep getting verbally assaulted every time I go there. Ugh. You know, back in my day, we were friends with our neighbors. What has happened to society? Anyways, I'm taking the very inefficient way back. But we're almost there. Ugh. I know. Well, that wasn't the milk guy, that was someone else. Also, we've done a lot, so I should save. I should for sure save for Simone. Could do the... Also, checklist, of course, checklist. Check! 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 That's... Check! I'm finished with that! Check! I'm finished with... Check! Check! Check. Ah, oh, so good. I haven't done that yet. I haven't done that yet. Check. Can't check that off yet. Figure out answers on the logic test. I did that. That's done. That's done. I'm finished with that. Oh my gosh, so many things. So many things accomplished. Ugh. I want to do this puzzle. Cause I remember this one being fun. Whoops. Check. Oh my gosh, five cents. Who do I think I am? All right. Let's do it. How do we do? How do we do it? Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Oh, okay. The game's, uh, freaking out a little bit. Game is not thrilled with me. Oof. <laughs> it is taking all of its computing power to run this game at the moment. Okay. <laughs> Slowly it goes. There we go. There we go. Okay. <laughs> it did it. Oh, I, I goofed up. I can move this, right? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Need to be moving this this at the minimal amount. I don't break this game down. Okay. <laughs> there it goes. It's a thrilling action-packed sequence, I tell ya. Alright, now, here we go. Blink and you'll miss it, I swear. This is rolling past at the speed of sound. <laughs> yeah, this is... <laughs> Taking all of its horsepower to get this done. Alright, and we did it. Keen! Will I remember that? I'll write it down. I feel like I remember that. Some of these things are permanently implanted in my brain. So we have Keen, and then Pony. I don't remember the poet. I don't remember what the other one is that we would need to. to. We did it. All right, what else should we do? I feel like we haven't, we haven't caught up with peep, peeps in a minute, shall we? Let's chit chat. So, is Emily all right? Oh, we Someone's haven't talked to her in a while. Jewelry. Oh, we haven't talked to her in a while. She was showing it to me just before the explosion. Now it's gone. Someone stole it while everybody was rushing around trying to put out the fire? Hypers! If you can't trust a fireman, who can you trust? <laughs> Emily said you were the only one who knew she had that jewelry. When Never trust she could have told people that red wig. Her, people may have seen her wearing it. And when she died, they knew the jewelry had to be around here somewhere, right? Does anyone in particular come to mind? Church Anne. Sorry. It's been hard enough getting to know Emily, let alone anyone else in this backwater burg. Um... Guess better go call the sheriff. What was Emily's mom's middle name? Do oh, that was remember? one of them. Of course I do. It was... Oh, piffle. It's right on the tip of my tongue. It uh, was... It was... Uh, uh, 
It'll pop into this feeble brain of mine one of these days. Okay. Why don't you just go ask Emily? Have you met Richard Topham? Yeah. They were besties, to total besties for sure. Whack. You don't think he can help people develop their psychic powers? The only thing he's good at is separating little old ladies and dim-witted rubes from their hard-earned cash. In fact, that's what it takes to run a successful dropshipping business. Asked me who you were, and I was so frazzled at the time I told him. I don't usually give that crackpot the time of day. T. That's how we knew our names. All right. Does everybody around here feel that way about him? Not everybody. Like that circus fella said, there's a sucker born every minute. Me? Beautiful. I think ESP is a lot of J-U-N-K. Well, I'll talk to you later. You betcha. Later. Later, babe. Yeah. Close my pen. Okay, there we go. All right. Those toes are still there. What was your mother's middle name? Tell me. Why? Oh, just curious. Lois. Okay. Do you have any idea where Josiah may have hidden a safe deposit box key? He could have hidden it anywhere. He always said his favorite hiding place was right under people's noses. All right. Well, that's very helpful. Did Josiah ever say anything about hiding his will somewhere? No, but he was always hiding stuff. I know because he was always writing reminders to himself about how to find it. But whenever the subject so of his came up, he'd just say he was happy knowing we were going to be happy when he passed on. Time will tell. That's all he'd say. I swear, I would be throwing clocks at the wall if some if some rich person said that to me constantly. I'll be it's back in the clock. Bit. It's in the clock. Okay. <laughs> all right. We can go under. Oh no, we have to wait for her to leave. I guess. I guess we have to wait for her to leave. Hmm. Okay, and then the poa poet Omar. Okay. All right. So I think we've got the four things. I realize I'm skipping ahead a little bit for people who haven't played this game before. But in the Lest I Forget notebook, it had a list of four things that we were supposed to know so we can open up this shed thingy thing. And so I have the four things now, I believe. I believe anyways. Now we also have to find the shed, which is the other, the other mystery. Oh, not here. That's for sure. Anyways, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. Is it? Yes. Here we go. Okay. And let's do it. I remember this being loud. Oh, it's not pleasant. It's not a pleasant noise. So we gotta do Gloria's middle name. I'm just playing 4D chess, you know, everyone needs to keep up over here. Okay. Whoops. Oh, is that not the first one? I have them in the wrong order. I can't get in. This is not the right time. That would have looked so cool if I got on the right time. Right, try. Um. Yeah. What's the order I'm doing these things in? Should I just go check the notebook? I mean, I could just see. I could just like trial and error, I guess. Yeah, I'll do that. I don't feel like walking. I don't feel like walking over and looking that cat in the eye. Let's see. One of the other ones is Pony. Oh, I just skipped right past E. Whoops. Pony? Give me Pony. Time will tell. Okay. Oops. Okay, so I don't think it was Pony either. Um... Omar. If none of these work, I'm gonna be so embarrassed. And then I'll actually have to walk over in shame. <gasps> no. I didn't think there was a specific order. I thought it was just the four things. Oh my gosh, I'm not an epic gamer after all. I'm a big fraud. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. So Keen was the first one. Now he's gotta figure out the order. <laughs> yeah, Lele Pons, that's the next one. What happened to her? Is she still around? Is she still doing things? Remember when she like went into Amanda Lapore? Not Amanda Lapore. Amanda, whatever her last name is. Not Curtis Lapore. Her friend Amanda, who was like another big viner, she went to her phone and like deleted her stuff on purpose. Because she was like jealous of how fast she was growing or something. Amanda Cerny, maybe that was her name. And she like, and also Lele Pons pretended to donate her hair. She just like held up clip in extensions. <laughs> and she was like, oh my, I wanted to donate my hair, but it wasn't long enough. Lele Pons did some crazy stuff. Viners had some drama, that's for sure. Oh, no reaction. All right, do we already do... Okay. Do we already do Pony? I should have been crossing these off based on what I already did. This noise is not pleasant. Okay, there we go. Pony. And now we do Keen? No, we did Keen first. I should have... I'm such a... Man, my memory's really starting to go in my old age. <laughs> Alright, there we go. We did it. Uh, Tana Mongoose has done some crazy things over the years, but... I don't know, none of it seems to stick. I feel like once you bake some people in the sun in line, nothing... You know, you can't really top that. I know I, I heard about her winery drama. About how she, like, gave a really bad review to a winery and, like... Gave that woman's full name and the the name of the winery, and so it got like review bombed, and she like <laughs> kind of facetiously called for the woman's death. I saw that. I think now she has drama with Bryce Hall, or Bryce Hall's pretend like acting like they were never friends. And I'm like, I don't even pay attention to Bryce Hall that much. And I'm like, Tana and Bryce definitely were friends. I don't know what this is all about. Something about this clock reminds me of the poem I saw at the mini golf course. Ooh. Okay, this I did write down. Oh, the music is spooky, too. Okay. I know I spin it around. I have the numbers, I don't know. Hmm. Remember how this works. Is there a way I can. Sp oh, there we go. There we go. And then we go. So it one. Oh, is that me resetting it? That might be me re resetting it. Yeah, I'm gonna stop doing that. I think that might be what I'm doing. Okay, one. Two. Four. And two. Two. And then eight. And then eight. Two. I don't know if I freaked this out. Uh oh. I don't think I. Hang on. Okay. I think I might have messed that up. Let's try it again. One, two. I love how the music ends. It's very ominous for me. Four. I guess it makes sense that Tana and Trisha are collabing now again. Because they definitely do fall into the same category. It really does suck just how much <laughs> Trisha has done as well. Because um, she'll show up on my For You page every once in a while and I'm like, dang, she really is funny. <laughs> Why does she have to use her power for, ev for evil as often as she does? It's so unfortunate. Dang it.
beans. Mm. Mm. I might save that for next week. Oh yeah, we already did that. Because I know I have it right. I just like, you know, we're at the end of the night, so I don't have the energy to figure out how I'm messing it up. You know, that that's next week's Ashley's problem. I, I hope you can understand that. Yeah, she's just so f I saw... Recently she showed up on my For You page and she was doing like tavern talk. Like she was dressed up like a, a bar wench and like was doing this crazy medieval-esque sort of accent that changed a bunch halfway through. Like it's just... I wonder what goes here. <sighs> you know? It's like, dang it, Trisha, you do it to me every time. Just when I say I'm done, you drag me back in. <laughs> Anyways, all right, we did that, but I just feel like that's not for me at the moment. <laughs> yeah, she. It's like I can't. I can't say that I stand her. She does make me laugh. I can't lie. I can't pretend that she doesn't make me laugh. Anyways, I think. Let's let's. Um go off our task list. Let's check off all the things that we need to do. Um... Can't check that off yet. Check. 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 That's done. Okay. Cool. I think we don't have that much on our list. We just gotta do that puzzle and then the key. Okay. Yeah, I think that'll be it for tonight. No, no, Laffy Taffy, I, I hear ya. Like, I get it. Yeah, it's a, a cautious stan. <laughs> no, I think you and I, I feel the same way. But anyways, I think that'll be it for tonight. But I'm glad that this game ran. I was kind of nervous that it was going to crash halfway through the stream, but it didn't. So that's always fun. Um, and then... I don't know if we'll play Epic Mickey on Thursday. I think if we play Epic Mickey, I don't think we're going to finish it because I think the way the emulation runs is not really optimized with my computer. Um, yeah, I'm glad you were here too, Snuggly. Weather nerdy boy, there are definitely question limits to questions you could ask me. Um, just changed it to see if it did anything for the algorithm, and it didn't. So you know, that's how it be. Oh my gosh, do y'all see? Y'all can't see Goose in the background because he's just out of reach, out of the corner. He has flipped over onto his back, and it was incredible. If only, if only you were here to witness that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> My hair got all crazy in the back. But anyways, I'm not sure what we're going to do on Thursday because I just don't know if Epic Mickey is like optimized for stream. So we might do something else, but we also might play one more of that. I'll figure it out. But anyways, have a good rest of your night. Um, and I'll see y'all on Thursday. Bye.